I'm here at South Bend, Indiana, and I'm about to test drive the world's largest motorcycle. Not this. This. The Tower Trike. This is my Harley Davidson. It's a pretty normal motorcycle. It is modified a little bit and it's got 140 foot pounds of torque, which is actually pretty impressive for a bike like this. This has 1,100 foot pounds of torque from its ginormous Detroit two stroke turbocharged and supercharged engine. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, these have pretty much the exact same motorcycles. To the common eye, you might think that way because they are very similar. This one's got tires and wheels. This one's got tires and wheels. This one's got handlebars. This one's got handlebars too. This one's got a fuel tank, also a fuel tank. This one's got air shocks and this one's got air shocks. This one's got a turbocharger and of course this one's got a turbocharger. Now I know to the untrained eye, these do these bikes look exactly the same, but experts like us, we know that these are slightly different. This is what happens when a tractor trailer has a baby with a motorcycle. And I brought Craig here too. We're gonna go test this thing out and see what this thing's all about. We're gonna find out whether bigger is really better. Come on, Craig. So this is the moment that I realized that I'm about to drive the most expensive motorcycle I've ever ridden, and it's the only one in existence. I can't mess this up. What did I hit? You parked that there. Craig? My bad. Oh, whatever. Hop in, Craig. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta put your foot on the brake, turn the key. Now, if it's been sitting for a while, it's gotta build up uh, pressure in like the air system or the brake system, I don't know. This is the only motorcycle I've ever been in that has seat belts. That's your gas, and the other one's your uh, brake, just kind of like a, similar to a car. This would be the vehicle to go on a rampage with, you know? Just like running over buildings and stuff like that. He met with Jay Leno and Jay Leno tested the earlier version of this. Went from one wheel in the front to now two wheels. This is unreal. Like, how is this a thing? I feel like I can go head to head with this guy up here. So I've driven a lot of unique motorcycles in the past few years. I've driven the world's smallest motorcycle. I've driven a V8 600 horsepower motorcycle. I've even drove motorcycles that came shipped to me from Amazon, but nothing like this. The best way to describe how this felt was like driving a tractor trailer with no body. And I loved it. But is it really a motorcycle? And the first question I want to know is, can it get you through a drive through I'll take a chicken gyro. What do you want? Two chicken gyros and a baklava. This thing is just a regular daily driving automobile. What is this? It's the new Honda Goldwing. Wow, this is amazing. Everyone just loved this thing and everyone wanted to be our friends. Even Barack Obama. What is this thing called? This is called a Tower Trike. Power. <laughs> yep. I never like this. There's only one. Uh, this is the only one right now. It's a diesel? Yeah, it's a uh, two stroke Detroit. And to my surprise and everyone else, it did actually fit to the drive through. I didn't get what I ordered because they couldn't hear me. And I think I ran over a Miata on the way out, but it all worked out. Yeah! <laughs> My next question is, how does this thing drive on the back roads? Greg, this is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't care that it costs $150,000. I need this in my life. All right, I'm gonna floor it. Yup, this is my life now. He's clocked over uh, 19,000 miles on this thing. 19,000 of the greatest miles. He said to take it down to Florida to do some testing. Yeah. He's got some type of special patent on the steering system on the front end. It's pretty, uh, it feels great. Does it want to wander around a little bit or is it pretty smooth? Uh, no, it's, it's pretty smooth. I wish he would tune it so it would roll cold though, because that's what I need in my life. You ever heel tow a uh, tractor trailer motorcycle? <laughs> no, I did not. Check that action out. 
Is it weird holding handlebars but they act like a steering wheel? Yeah, uh, you know what? I haven't had time to think about it being weird. It doesn't really feel that weird. You know, I'm too busy like not trying to die. Now, as you think about it, it's a little a little different. It's like driving a car with like a uh, with like a lock bar on it. You know how that is. You've been there, Craig. Been there. Let's see if other truckers wave to us. What's happening? It's a pretty smooth ride. Before we go any further, I need to find out why this crazy thing was made and ask the owner of Tower Trikes a question that's in all of our minds. Why'd you make it so small? <laughs> Now I've got a reputation to uphold and you can't build a semi-truck powered motorcycle and expect me not to ask the hard questions. Well, we Googled how big you could make a motorcycle and still call it a motorcycle. And it's 11,000 pounds. And this weighs? 10,950. 10,950. Dry. Dry. Now, just in case you didn't catch that, legally, it's not a motorcycle if it weighs over 11,000 pounds. Not sure what maniac came up with this considering that every other motorcycle in the world weighs less than 1,200 pounds. And this thing tips the scale at 10,950 pounds, 50 pounds less than what it legally has to be to become a motorcycle. And these are just your normal, like, off-the-shelf street glide tires from a Harley Davidson? Mm, right, those are Harley Davidson tires. No, right. they're... <laughs> <laughs> these are uh, low profile, uh, step deck tires for semi trucks, semi trailers. This is connected to your steering wheel. This is a uh, power steering gearbox that you're looking at. And that moves this? Yeah, it moves this and rotates the whole front end. And that's a, uh, a two stroke Detroit. What, it what's, is. What's, the, uh, what's the size of that? I think it's 565 cubic inches, 320, 350 horse, kicks out 10, 50 foot pounds of torque. And you guys custom built this frame? This whole frame we did. is custom built? Yes. This cross you got on here. Well, how much does that weigh? So I would guess it weighs 250 pounds. Oh, that's it? Right. Yeah. And I see you got the uh, you got 10 commandments back there. Yeah, that'll be let, on every let, bike. Let everyone, every bike. Yes, sir. We're gonna have the six foot stainless steel cross. We're gonna have the 10 commandments on every unit. I figure when I run out of Christians, we'll stop selling them, but All right. I don't think we will. And not only does that cross represent the symbol of our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you saying that doubles as a roll bar? It does. So why did you make this? Probably one of the answers would be America. <laughs> because you can, but uh, you, you seem to have more of a reason than that. Well, why did you make this thing? Well, we had so many folks that get that killed on motorcycles. I had three of my friends get killed on motorcycles. And it's just not fair. I'd love to see Harley Davidson and everybody build them big so that people don't get killed. It's, it's insane that you would take your life in your hands or you, you would be exposed to, to being killed or, or maimed because you're riding a motorcycle. So this is like the little brother that gets bullied around <laughs> and then he grinned and he grew up. So my next question is, how does this mammoth do on the highway? Craig, you must have done something good with your hair. Because a lot of people are stopping and taking pictures of us. Yo, I, are we taller than the tractor trailers? I don't think so, it's close though. Those guys that are like stopping and, and like and like breaking their necks and pulling out their phones and there's other guys that don't even notice it. Just another car. I gotta say, it's not hard to drive. I mean, it's you know, it's 100, it, it's you know, 1000% power steering. If it wasn't, it would be impossible to drive. Uh, but this is, this is just as easy as anything else. This one's got a top speed of 83. The other ones have a top speed of 100. I'm not sure why they have a higher top speed. This one, this one might be governed. I don't know if I want to be going 100, but hey, I might. I'd say in terms of handling, I give this thing like a nine out of 10. It's not perfect, but uh, you know, it's pretty awesome. It was one of the coolest feelings to have the wind in your face and to sit higher than the cars and buses and trucks on the highway and to outweigh most of them. It was easy to drive and might be the closest I will ever get to driving a house down the highway. The next big question I have is could you use this bike to pass your motorcycle driver's test? So we got a couple simulations. The first one is the slalom. You gotta run your motorcycle. Each cone is nine feet apart. You gotta run your motorcycle uh, through it without putting your feet down. Let's see if this thing can do it. You get around the back rack. What if I actually can do the cones and because the back wheels and the front wheels, none of them actually touch it? Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Thread the needle. Nice, good work. Good work. Don't put your feet down. Don't put your feet down. Yep, yep, you got this. Thread the needle. 
You got this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, yep, good job. I think we made it all the way through without Yay! hitting any. Let's see how we did. That's not that bad. All right, let's go to the next test. So the next driver's test challenge, you have to get to about 20 miles an hour and then stop without passing or stopping before in a 10 by 10 box. Let's see how it does. Alright, so the next one is the new motorcycle rider's worst nightmare, and that is the figure eight. You gotta do the figure eight twice without putting your foot down. I think this bike can do it. I got a lot of faith in it. Let's go try it out. You got this. Nice turn. That's good. Nice Keep turn. Keep it nice and tight. I can't believe how well that turns. It's not bad. I don't know if this course is made for bikes like this. You might have passed. We were supposed to stay inside the box and a couple times we hit the line, uh, which it officially is a failure, but... Um, you didn't knock over the two in the back. That's true. So I think, uh, I think this could pass a motorcycle safety course. It all, a lot of it depends on your relationship with the instructor. Overall, I thought it did pretty well. I had a great time test driving that thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out this next video right here.